boy, uh, joint that's always my man for under 25 years. I'm Drew Extraordinaire, the JC Champs of the Ensisayam Champion of the World! Mr. JP Wall, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> doing pretty good, how about yourself? Fantastic, because today, with the release of Rob Batinson's The Batman, you're diving into Mask of the Phantasm. I'm Vengeance. I'm Vengeance. <laughs> oh, and he sure is, because I've seen it. Uh, oh, I'm so jealous. I think hopefully I'm going to see it on Sunday. Um, Yeah, I can't wait. I'm so stoked. I'm so excited. I can't wait. So before we get into that, what have you been watching, reading, seeing, doing this week? Um, So let's see. I the big thing I've been doing this week is I've been obsessed with the the sunny always it's always <laughs> sunny uh, podcast and I'm just blasting through it I'm almost current with it and I think Monday I hadn't listened to any of them maybe and I think I've listened to like 30 episodes this week or 20 <laughs> or shit. some crazy shit that's like all I've How been listening to they're anywhere from like 30 to 45 minutes long okay and, you know, I'll listen to them while I'm like working out or yeah. you know cleaning cleaning the apartment or whatever. And it's just, it's so fucking funny. And it's just, it feels like I'm sitting down with them. Yeah. And they're so funny. Like there's this bit that they did. I'm not going to do it justice. Yeah. Listen to the show, but they did a bit where it's Rupert Murdoch having an argument with Mickey Mouse because they were talking about the ownership of Fox. <laughs> and I, I think Charlie Day is doing oh. Mickey Mouse and he's like, what does he say? It's like, ha oh, oh, listen here, you old fuck. Oh, oh. It's just, it's just fucking, it's just fucking ridiculous. It's so funny. They're, you could just tell they're just best friends and, you know, they're just, they riff so well together. Yeah. It's just yeah. great. I mean, and that shines through and, and that's the reason they've been able to do their show for, I mean, like 15 years, which is. 15 years fucking incredible how long they've been doing it yeah like, it, it's like under the radar one of the longest yeah. running shows ever. it is it's currently the longest running sitcom ever yeah and no one would ever yeah. think that mm -mm. fantastic mm -mm. though so good yeah um so yeah I'm, i've been um listening to that like crazy and then watching top my top chef started this mm. week top chef houston that's my nice. guilty pleasure show when watching that. And then, um, yeah, that's kind of it. Just other random stuff here and there. What about you? I know you have some big news to talk about. I do. I mean, I've been watching. All right. I finished up the Righteous Gemstones. Man, this I really liked it. I liked the first season, but I think this one's even better. I need to catch up like bad. Really enjoyed it. Uh, I won't spoil anything, but please go watch that. Um, mm -hmm. and yes, I, uh, was lucky enough to go see the Batman last night. I actually had tickets earlier. I was lucky mm -hmm. enough to get those, but I was tired and I didn't want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I went last night. Uh, very good. Uh, it is long. It, it's not that it feels long, but as, as a man, like, a uh, a baby bladder boy, um, mm -hmm. it's I'm, tough a, I'm one of those hours. Like I, did you, I, did you make it? Yeah, and I kind of wish I wouldn't have because uh, I had to pee like 30 minutes in. <laughs> oh, and that's the worst. So I was like kind of not as invested as I should have been, you know, because like half of me is like, yeah. don't piss your pants, don't piss your pants. <laughs> and those, uh, I've been there too. It's those last 30 minutes. You're just like, okay, as soon as the credits hit, I'm beelining to the bathroom. And you're like, you're into what's going on, but in your head, you're going, I've got to pee so fucking bad. I've got to well, pee so fucking bad. Well, it hit so me so bad. early, like 30 minutes uh, in, and that's still two and a half hours to go. <laughs> what, so that, what was that, was, that? I mean, that's my own mistake. It's like when you wake up yeah. in the middle of the night and you're like, I got to pee. It's like, no, I'm just going to lay here. And then you lay there for like an hour and you're like, why did I just get up and go to the bathroom? Yeah. I should yeah. have, but whatever, my own problem. Uh, I, won't, mm. I won't spoil anything. I thought it was great. Um. One thing I, I I don't this isn't spoiling anything, but uh, I know that they're supposedly doing an HBO Max Penguin show. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard too. Yeah, with Colin. Really Carl. excited about that. He, I mean, he's unrecognizable. 
Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, he was great, and I would love to see, like, more of, like, I, I think it'll be, like, a, how he came to be. I don't know mm. if it'll be, like, a prequel of how he... Well, okay, I probably do know, but I won't spoil it by telling you. I don't know if it's a prequel of how he became to where he is in the movie or where mm-hmm. he goes after the movie. Um, mm-hmm. I'll give you both sides, so I, I know what I actually think. But I, that oh, gotcha. Could, could, okay. Could yeah. be construed as spoilers. Um, so, But they could go either direction. Um, okay. But he was yeah. so good. Um, He's awesome. I, I, Kravitz, I, I'm a... awesome, too. Great Catwoman. Uh... Great Selena Kyle. How did uh, uh, Andy Serkis do as Alfred? Good. Um, he he wasn't in it as much as I thought he was going to be. I don't think oh, that's okay. a spoiler either. But he wasn't mm-hmm. like a huge part. There's a reason why. Yeah. Like, there's the plot reason and this and that. I see why sure, they sure. did it that way. Um, sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see uh, where they go next. Because they're, I mean, mm-hmm. obviously they're making another one. I think that's already been. Oh, my God. They're probably going to make at least two more, right? I would imagine. I would think so. I mean, Matt yeah. Reeves is great. Like he takes his time. Not I don't mean that as a pejorative. Like mm-hmm. it probably didn't need to be three hours, but yeah, I'm yeah. glad it was. Mm-hmm. Like he's he's clearly doing a thing. Um, sure, sure. And, and there's some things that linger, and there's some like long times without like a lot of things spoken and this and that. Mm-hmm. But but I mean it, it completely works. Yeah. Okay. Would yeah. you? Uh, I guess without spoiling too much, because I haven't seen it, so I don't know for sure. Yeah, a lot of I, reviews. I've seen it so early, like I, I don't want to spoil yeah. it for anybody. Yeah, a, a lot of a lot of you know little blurbs I've read about the movie say it's very akin to like Seven and Zodiac, very Fincher esque, very you know yeah, like thriller. I mean, would you? They took you a lot of influence it? from like Zodiac. Obviously, there's like ciphers and like just like the symbols and stuff that the. Everyone knows the main villain is the Riddler. Um, mm-hmm. Aldano's great, by the way. Uh, <sighs> He's awesome. Yeah, it's very long Halloween. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, I think that's Which also I known. Love. I don't think that's... I mean, they change... Like, it's not that story, but mm-hmm. there's a lot of... Like, this is the first time we really see Batman as a detective. Which, yeah, yeah, again, I know they you know... said that in, like, the lead-up that there's... They, that was, yeah. Because he's supposed to be the world's greatest detective, but... yeah. Yeah, he's and, the world's fucking greatest detective. Yeah, yeah let's so you actually that, see excited. him doing that. Um, he's did, he deduced it. <laughs> yeah, he did a lot. He was big time detecting throughout. Yeah, uh, which is well uh, done, and I loved it. Um, uh, Jeffrey Wright as Gordon, great. Oh, I I fucking love him. He's great. I do and too. when I saw he was cast it cast as that, I was like, yep. Yep, I was great. Like I feel like the great. trailers didn't do him justice, but like mm-hmm. I really enjoyed him. And like uh, uh, I I can't say too yeah. much because I'm just gonna yeah 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 spoiling we'll, things. We'll, but maybe we'll do a little. Uh, once I see it, maybe we could do a little rapid fire, or even it. a full episode, or like a, just a long form discussion about yeah, the movie. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, before before I went and saw it, I watched like the entire Dark Knight, the Nolan trilogy. <laughs> <laughs> so i was like maybe i'm gonna be a little batmaned out but nope wasn't nope and then speaking of batmaned out you know we got our mask of the phantasm today yep which i've never seen somehow that's i'm very surprised i have weird gaps like that that uh we all do yeah we all do well okay um i'm very up on Batman right now. I'm very psyched to talk about Batman. So unless yeah. you have anything else, uh, let's get into our feature presentation. And now, our feature presentation. Batman, Mask of the Phantasm from 1993 and 84% from the critics of Rotten Tomatoes and 88% from the audience, directed by Eric Radomsky, starring Kevin Conroy as Bruce Wayne Batman, Bob Hastings as Commissioner Gordon, Stacey Keach as Phantasm, Mark Hamill as Joker, and Abe Goddamn Pagoda as Salvatore Balestra. Yeah, and Dana Delaney was um, Andrea Beaumont, too, which was, she was great. 
I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm giving a little trivia a bit away, but she, they loved her so much in this role and thought she did such a great job. She was Lois Lane in the animated Superman cartoon. Oh, nice. Around that same time. Yeah. I, I did not know that. That's fantastic. Yeah. Man, I really yeah. enjoyed this movie. It's very, I mean, it's Batman in the animated series. It's all the mm -hmm. like same aesthetic, yeah. which is the best aesthetic ever. It's just like, <sighs> it's like this, it's not a real place because it's, it's like sort of present day, but all the cars are like fifties cars and like, They'll have a rotary Even phone. Even the wardrobe too. Just like, yeah, like the big like double breasted suits and like it's just it and it, and it's got some of the some of the like Batman eighty nine like gothic uh Gotham type settings. Mm -hmm. Like it's just it's a city at a time, which it's a just, lot of yeah a lot of times that doesn't work because it's like you don't, you don't have any connection. It's just like this isn't a real place, but yeah, for reason yeah, it just works. It's it's like, yeah, Gotham is like set in, you know, post-World War II, in a post-World War II metropolis. Yeah. But also if there were computers and if there yeah. was like other technology, but it's still that technology is almost as if that technology was in the 40s. You know, it's not very yeah. sleek. It looks very kind of boxy. and It's almost a little like Fallout, like the games. Yeah, so it's like, like steampunky really kind but of. But they still are advanced in certain ways. But yeah, it just yeah. fucking works. Oh, I love it. I love it. I actually saw. I saw it a long time ago. You know when it? I don't. I think when it came out, probably. But uh, maybe yeah, I mean, about it's thirty years four. old almost now. Yeah, that's fucking nuts. Jesus. Yeah. Um. Maybe about five years ago, they were doing a screening of it at the Egyptian in Hollywood on oh, Hollywood cool. Boulevard. And they did a Q&A beforehand with Andrea Romano, who did all the mm. casting. And then she also did, like, the voice supervision. I'm not sure exactly what that entails. Yeah, I don't know. But I think it's just, like, she conducts, like, the voiceover recording sessions. And she's, like, the the voice director, I guess, mm. of the – but she sense. did a Q&A beforehand. And quick little fun fact. She said of all the things that she's recorded in her, like, 10,000 sessions – one of her favorites was recording a really intense scene with Jensen Ackles from Under the Red Hood. Oh, I, well, I, yeah. I didn't mention this before, but I actually watched Under the Red Hood again. I've seen it before. <sighs> but, I, the Red Hood is a, a weirdly favorite character of mine from the comics. He's great. Yeah. I just love Jason Todd coming back and being so broken, and he's basically just – what if the Punisher was Batman? <laughs> yeah. Like he's oh, yeah. got all the skills and he does all the stuff that Batman does, but mm -hmm. he also has guns and he just straight up murders people. <laughs> kind of like the Phantasm in this movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of those same kind of vibes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I actually, you don't know who it is till later on. And it took yeah. me a little while to figure out who it was. Yeah. They did a really great, they did a really great job of, you know, not not leaving breadcrumbs per se, but just, you know, not leaving it to up to, you know, I don't even know what I'm saying. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, they did a good job of. Yeah, I mean, I figured it out before the reveal, but, like, mm -hmm. it wasn't, like, not, like, way, it wasn't, like, the first scene. I'm like, yeah, this, that's who it is. Yeah, yeah, It was yeah, a good yeah. amount of time that I was, like, it felt, like, earned. and Yeah, 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 yeah just masterful writing and storytelling and yeah. just why that show was so awesome and so, so successful. Great. And yeah. Well, let's get into yeah. it. Let's do it. We kick up with some mobsters doing mob stuff in like a big boardroom setting. I, I, I always love that about uh, the animated series. It's just like, they're just like out in the open, like businessmen yeah. just in a high rise with a giant boardroom table, like they're CEOs of Enron or something. <laughs> <laughs> just with like a big suitcase of counterfeit bills. He's like, hey, these yeah. look, uh, these look pretty good. These yeah, look pretty good. <laughs> uh, Batman, of course, busts through a window in perfect Batman fashion. Beats up a bunch of the henchmen. Main guy, Chucky Soul. Uh, he escapes into a parking garage where the Phantasm shows up, and like he thinks that he does a lot of things that like Batman would do like you know he has a lot of like the theatrics and the misdirection mm. and smoke and this and that so he thinks your it's angel batman of, your angel of death awaits <laughs> <laughs> so 
uh, he he's he jumps in a car. He like starts to get away um, and does the dumb thing that villains often do. He's like he he got away, but he decides to turn around and like run the phantasm. Yeah, what the fuck? Uh, misses, of course. Um, ends up driving out of the building because he's like in a, a high rise parking garage and into another building across the street, like in Fast and the Furious Seven or Eight or whatever it was when they're in yeah. Dubai and they jumped the a car. Yeah, the two yeah. <laughs> Except. Unlike Dom Toretto, Chucky Saul does not survive this. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize he didn't live until there was like a like a throwaway line later on that was like, yeah, he already killed whatever and whatever. Yeah, I was like, oh, he died. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you hear the way I, mean, I he should have. <laughs> oh, clearly, you hear the the haunt the 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 horn, so it's like. Meh. Oh, I didn't even notice so that. Just, yeah. yeah, that's that's uh the universal sign for my head is on the horn and i'm dead yeah and i'm big dad <laughs> so uh batman he uh he, he's on the scene he, he grabs some glass because he's a detective you know yeah <laughs> i guess he's hey a- there's some stuff on this broken glass this might be yeah. abuse yeah i didn't completely understand it don't really care um yeah goes to the bat he's cave batman. analyzes it with the bat computer um as that's like analyzing bruce goes to a party and he's got like babes all over him. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, real quick. I love, I love how fucking snarky Alfred is. And he's like, he's, My he's favorite talking Alfred. To, oh, he's the best Alfred. And he's like, why well, you're the monitor model of sanity, master Bruce, by the way, I've washed your tights and, <laughs> and fixed your exploding belt. Yeah, you know, he, just like shit like that. He's like he's very so condescending and he's very like uh just proper British and with that like biting uh underhanded type mentions of things like that. that just yeah. like oh you're you're fucking with me, but you're doing it in such a proper, eloquent way. <laughs> mm-hmm. I love it. I love yep. it. So good. So but yeah, he's at the party with all the girls and they're all just like fawning over him and yeah, a lot of and just, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Old girlfriend shows up, Andrea. Mm-hmm. Uh just like cock blocks him by throwing a drink in his face. Was that was that Andrea or was that I think somebody it was else? Her, wasn't it? I I thought that was somebody else. He goes over else. and like talks to her after, doesn't he? Or maybe it was someone else because it it didn't make a lot of sense because he didn't do anything to her that should elicit that. See, I thought it was somebody else because I think I read there's a thing in the trivia where she was in like one of the previous episodes or something. She was a date of his. Oh, uh, okay. I took it as somebody else. It, it probably was. Um, I just, just looks uh, very similar. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's animated. I can't tell the difference between anybody. Um, <laughs> but yeah. that would make more yeah. sense because it was like when you find out what happened with him and Andrea, like he didn't do any of those things to her. Mm-hmm. So I just, mm-hmm. I, when I thought it was her, I, I just thought it was like her just trying to, cause she still harbors feelings and was just trying to get him to not bang a bunch of floozies. Yeah. 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 But yeah, that, that'd make more sense, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um, so Bruce then goes and gets like real sad about his parents mm-hmm. he does multiple times um mm-hmm. he, he remembers he we, we get flashbacks throughout and he because he, he sees like a picture of his parents and his is in manner or whatever and, like we get a flashback to uh when he met andra and which he just like hit on a woman in a cemetery, which is like really weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because he's there and he hears her talking to yeah. her mom's grave, and he was just like, "Oh, I thought you were talking to me." And she's like, "Nah, bitch, I'm talking to my mom." It's he's not like, uh, what? played as creepy, mm-hmm. which it should be, but it's played as Bruce is a really big dummy. Like, of course that's what she's doing, but he's just yeah. like, huh? <laughs> "Are you talking to me?" <laughs> and he is kind of a he is kind of a fucking doofus yeah I, and i actually think it works because he's like infatuated like with this woman like he's clearly he come becomes in love with him and it's like or love with her and it becomes mm-hmm. like a thing that 
is an issue with him because he's not trying mm-hmm. to do that. And like love can make you do make you stupid, you know, just like just like any that extreme is, emotion, yeah. like anger can make you stupid. Love can make mm-hmm. you stupid. Like, oh, for sure. So it does weirdly work because at first I was like, the fuck's wrong? where did Bruce Wayne's brain go? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, man, he's she's talking to her dead relative. Like, yeah, she'll just chill yeah. out. <laughs> so, uh, he then I I didn't realize this is where it was going. We get like some almost like Batman Year One kind of stuff. Year One vibes for sure, for sure. He dresses up and and it, his entrance needs work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's still learning. Work. Like, he just, like, jumps in front of a bunch of guys with guns. But he's got, like, a ski mask and this, like, dope-ass coat. It's, like, yeah, like a leather jacket yeah, or something. Yeah, with, like, the he's lapels, like, like kind of, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, really cool. yeah, 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 like a biker, like, motorcycle jacket or something. Almost, almost like, like, uh, what Luke Skywalker's wearing in Return of the Jedi, where it's just that extra flap that's over for, like, yeah, no reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shit. <laughs> it looks cool, yeah. yeah and he's, like, like get on the ground. Yeah. So yeah, he he beats up some dudes. Uh, one tries to escape on like a big wheel, like a eighteen wheeler semi truck. Mm-hmm. He just like jumps on the back. <laughs> I love when they drive by the cops and the guy does like a spit take. <laughs> that's Bullock. That's young. Oh, was that Bullock? I love me some Bullock. Yeah. yeah, that's young Bullock when he's like uh, when he was still a beat cop. So good. Um, so yeah, the cops pursue. They uh, get all messed up whatever he, he bruce throw, or batman throws some batman stuff in front of the tires mm. and like breaks them and makes it crash <laughs> i mm. like how it just like i i it's it's so small but like a good it's such a great way of showing he just doesn't know what he's doing yet where like mm. he just live he like he almost gets smashed by the truck crashing and like going into a wall but it like mm-hmm. misses by like you know it just it slows down yeah but it's just he doesn't know what he's doing yet. He's not yeah. Batman yet. So like of course he has to just kind of get lucky before he uh, before he yeah. understands shit. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, he makes a crash. Cops show up, arrest the bad guy. Bruce runs away. So er, we get some early Batman, which is great. Um, we're still in the past. Um, Bruce is doing like karate in his yard <laughs> and he's and he's all bandaged he's yeah he's he's doing karate in his yard he's like they weren't afraid of me and then Aunt andrea or andrea comes and she's like what happened to you trip over some loose cash yes yeah. I, I just love this these snarky people in his life they're yeah. just like busting his balls it's great so good um, they don't give a fuck who he is right yeah and that's probably what's he draws him to her because mm-hmm. there's substance there there's not like oh we have money I'm fawning all yeah. over you. It's like mm-hmm. no, she's like a she's an actual character flesh that is fleshed out throughout. Mm-hmm. Um and little things like that show that she has like her own agency and like her yeah, own thought and like um so uh they uh then they like fight, sort of. <laughs> they like they like flirty like wrestle. I think yeah, that's like, what I wrote. Like flirty wrestling turns into smooching. Of course. Yeah. Then they do kisses, <laughs> and Alfred walks in on them banging. I guess. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, oh, <laughs> like, oh sir. <laughs> oh. This little tray of tea he's, that yeah. he's always holding. Oh my. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, stars. So <laughs> back to the present day. Um, some mod guy, uh, Buzz. Bronski, mm. he's like in the cemetery, just like being a dick at probably someone he killed or something. I didn't completely know. Didn't matter. Oh, really. he was going. He was going to Chucky's grave. Chucky. Oh, uh, okay. And you know, it's like he's going to visit the guy's grave and throw fr- flowers on it, but he literally just like throws the flowers on it, and he was like, "Chucky, you always were a loser." It's like, jeez, yeah. man. Yeah, just come on like, now. Real dancing on grave kind of shit. Yeah. Uh, Phantasm shows up, mm-hmm. chases him through the graveyard. He thinks it's Batman. Uh, he falls into an empty grave, and the Phantasm just pushes a giant statue over on him and crushes a, him. A giant <laughs> angel of death statue, no less. It's so good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So everyone's like thinking the Batman's the one killing people because mm. 
He doesn't exactly look like him, but he's got a, like a cape and like the actor kind of smoke and like yeah, it's mm. like what a Batman but murder. And I think it's like in especially in like the Chucky Saul case, he just like ends up Batman ends up at that scene after yeah, so right after connecting it happens. dots. Um, yeah. And we get the overzealous con- councilman Arthur Reeves, who's I think he's dating Andrea, right? I think he's either, I mean, he, he clearly wants to, but I don't know if he is for sure, but he's like, he, he's damn sure fucking trying. And <laughs> did you realize who the voice of, of him is? Of Arthur Reeves? Yeah. Do you know who his voice is? Hart Bachner. <laughs> I don't know who that ha- is. Hans Booby. Oh, is that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm that's white him. Knight. I'm your white Holy knight. Shit. That's him, dude. Oh my god, Mr. Eighties Coke Fuel Jack, just like, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's him, baby. Yeah, <laughs> that's so good. Mm-hmm. I love it. Oh man, mm-hmm. I had no idea. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So yeah, he's oh, like, yeah. he's like talking to Commissioner Gordon. He's like, the Batman did this. We like, we gotta, we gotta get him. And Gordon, he's like, nah, I know better. Yeah, the Batman does not kill. Yeah, period. Like, no, dude. Like, nah. Wrong. So, uh, Andrea and this dickweed councilman, Arthur Reeves, um, they're like at dinner, and Batman's just being real creepy, spying on them with binoculars in their hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just... <laughs> I just went Bruce in the way and Bruce in the rain. Bummer. Yeah, just being all <laughs> sad and wet. <laughs> so okay, more flashbacks to when uh, Bruce and Andrea were were like dating. Mm-hmm. It takes her to like a World's Fair. Like a Stark Expo kind of thing. There's like, the world of mm-hmm. tomorrow, today. And there's like flying cars and shit all over. Robots uh, waving yeah. at you. And yeah, and, and then he sees the Batmobile. Yeah, Bruce I Fox a future car that looks like the Batmobile. <laughs> mm-hmm. Whoa. He gets super horny for that car. Mm-hmm. Um, he then like, agrees to meet her father, which uh, she, who, who, who then she proceeds to call from a car phone that's also a rotary phone. She you know, she's like, oh, I didn't see. <laughs> like they don't actually show it, but like she's, it makes the sound. Oh, <laughs> I love it. It's such nonsense, but great. Mm-hmm. Um, they they go to and I, I love his like. He is such like, a uh, little kitten in love. Cause like, mm-hmm. it's just like, what am I doing? This is not part of my plan. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like he's, he's a lot of self narration. Yeah. Silly, oh yeah. And very un Bruce Wayne like, but it's early and it's, and it works. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so he agrees to meet her, meet his, her dad. Um, they meet, but they're in, interrupted by Salvatore Alestra who comes in um and as they leave like uh, <laughs> Bruce sees like some like 50s motorcycle greaser goons doing some crime he's like trying to steal some guys like cat box or some shit yeah and he intervenes and like fights some of them and uh, one of them pulls like a road rash on his ass and drops him with a baseball bat. Did you ever play Road Rash, the video game? Oh my god, yeah. It's like a motorcycle racing game where you hit people with bats and chains. And yeah, stuff. I remember that. <laughs> I love that but, game. Dude, that's when he like just runs at the motorcycle and like steps on the wheel cover and then just slow mo just punches the dude right so in good. the face. Oh, so great. So good. So great. So, yeah, after he gets hit with a bat, uh, I guess that's poetic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Bruce then has some internal emo struggles with his desires to fight crime and his feelings for Andrea. 
just very very I can't emo. Put, I can't put myself on the line with someone waiting at home. I did I did think it was really poignant though when he's like in front of his parents' grave. Yeah. And he's like honest. He's like, it doesn't hurt so bad anymore. Like it's different now. Yeah, like, and he I've feels changed. guilty about it. Yeah. He's yeah. Like, like that he doesn't feel as bad anymore. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. He's having a having a conversation with dead parents in the cemetery. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. In the rain, of course. <laughs> of course. It's always in the rain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's and, Gotham. It rains a lot there. Yeah, apparently. Uh Andrew just like shows up and uh like listening to what he says. Mm-hmm. And they hug and whatever. Mm-hmm. Back to present day. Batman does some detecting on his back computer. Alfred gives him some more sass. <laughs> and, and and Batman decides to go do some investigating on uh, Mr. Salvatore. Mm-hmm. And in his office, because uh, my bosses all have offices, apparently, in Gotham. Mm-hmm. He sees a picture of Andrea's dad with, uh, with Mr. Salvatore. And the other two, Salvatore Valestra and the other two guys, Chucky Soul and then Bronski, the guys who have died, basically. Yeah. Um, we get more flashbacks. Uh, he proposes to Andrea. She says yes. And some bats just show up out of nowhere, out of a hole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Foreshadowing, me think? Yeah. <laughs> like... It's so it's I mean it's so heavy handed but it did work. It's just like he's it's struggling cartoon, with this you know? thing and he's like and now he's trying to get away from what he's supposed to be doing and then bats show up just to be like no dude you're not no, supposed bitch. to be doing this. <laughs> yeah man. Um, he then like drops her off at home and her dad's there with some goons. Something's up. Mm-hmm. Next day. Uh, while Bruce is investigating where these bats came from, it's like the the uh, discovery of the Bat Cave. Apparently, mm-hmm. they're on Wayne Manor grounds, and uh, mm. uh, he's like, "Yeah, there's a big hole down here, Alfred." <laughs> <laughs> like, here's here here's a here's a logistical question. So Bruce Wayne builds this giant Bat Cave in his base in 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 his in this cave on his property, mm. right? He doesn't do that himself, clearly. He he needs yeah. to hire contractors and shit like that. Does he make them sign NDAs? Does and he pays them like a shitload of money? Like like let's say it's like a thousand bucks to pay the guy. Does he give the guy like a thousand bucks, ten thousand bucks, and make him sign an NDA and be like, hey, don't talk about this ever? See, here's the thing. Um, when you do a bat cave like this, mm-hmm. all the structure existed. So all yeah. he's doing is putting in uh like his computers and his giant penny and like all that shit. Yeah, yeah. The dinosaur. But like if it already <laughs> exists, then he doesn't have to have those contractors. Other iterations where it's all like high tech and this and that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I have those questions. Although he could have just done like a I don't know if you're up on Better Call Saul. Mm-hmm. Uh how Gus um hires people from like Germany and basically like brown bags them brings them in, like they can't leave, they don't know where they are, they're building something, they don't know exactly what they're building, oh, and then send them yeah. on their way. So yeah, there's always yeah. that option. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that was a brilliant way to be like how they, they oh, built that. Yeah. I mean, it's never alluded yeah. to in any way, shape, or form. Like In this iteration, it's just yeah, a cave okay, that smart. just exists. Yeah. But yeah, if he did need some work, eh, that's, a, that's a pretty good way to do it. That's smart. Yeah, basically just paying the guys a shitload of money. So it's like, hey, you're just going to be in the, in these trailers. You can't leave. Yeah, you don't yeah. know. Like, you don't even know where you are in the world. Like, and you don't mm-hmm. really know what this is. I'm going to pay you a shit ton of money. And then you'll, like, even if you wanted to tell anyone, you don't know. So you. Oh, God. God, Vince Gilligan is a fucking yeah. genius. Just thought of that right now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Well done. Well played, sir. You, I mean, because that, that show's yeah. awesome. Last mm-hmm. season's coming up, and I'm really excited about it. Fuck. I can't wait. I can't wait. So, uh, Alfred shows up while he's going spelunking and uh, with a package and a note, and Andrea's returned the ring and says, 
I'm leaving, bitch. Bye. <laughs> forget, forget about me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just like real cold. Like, uh, mm -hmm. I can't. Nah, sorry. Yeah, bye. Later. Mm -hmm. Bruce then finally suits up as proper Batman for the first time, and Alfred's just and like, Alfred is just like, damn, bro. <laughs> terrified <Yeah>. terrified <laughs> my god <laughs> my god sir <laughs> back to the present uh which he still just all of this was just him looking at the photo <laughs> a mm -hmm. flashback uh he, mm -hmm. he just steals it and leaves <laughs> uh old ass salvatore Valestra. He goes to see the Joker. I love that he's on, like, oxygen and just, like, a fossil of a man. He's just, he's not doing well. Yeah. Let, let's say that. Let's, he's not doing well. And he goes to see the Joker. Uh, I like how some robots short circuit, like, right when he gets there. And did you notice the sound effect that it made? Mm-mm. It's a, I think it's the same sound that... Uh, in Star Wars and the Millennium Falcon's hyperdrive wasn't working, it was like, <laughs> you know that sound? that's what yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, and I just, I fucking love Mark Hamill too. He's, he's the best. He's, he's the, the best. best. He's a, oh, hello, Salvador. Me, Cosa Nostra, Sue Cosa Nostra. I mean, I mean, no, no shade to Heath Ledger. He did an amazing job. But no shade Mark to Joaquin Hamill. either, but yeah. Yeah, I, I thought Joaquin did a good job in that movie, but I didn't really like that movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, or I Jack didn't... Nicholson, also also a good yes. Joker, too. Fair. Basically everyone but Jared Leto was good. Yeah, that was just, yeah. I don't like to shit on anybody, like, because people put in work, but he fucking sucked. <laughs> yeah, I I think that, that casting and, and his choices were not... My yeah, he, he might not say. be as great of an actor as we all thought. I don't know if you've seen House of Gucci, and he's just like, it's -a me, I'm a Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> just, just fucking stupid. Uh, 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 I, haven't I was seen watching that yet, movie no. at my sister's place, and I watched it for 15 minutes, and I, I, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I hate this. I'm going to go home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear Gaga was great in it. Yeah, I, I heard, like, yeah, she was fine, but I just didn't, I didn't give a shit. I didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah, uh, he's there to uh, to uh, Joker takes, <laughs> then takes Salvatore on like a roller coaster ride. <laughs> mm, yeah, the the it's a kind of like a it's a small world yeah. kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. The Joker punts a robot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like the Jack Black and Angry Man. <laughs> <laughs> This burrito is delicious, but it sure is filling. <laughs> <laughs> they chat for a bit. Uh, he wants Joker's help taking down Batman because he's like, all of a sudden, Batman's like coming after people with like malice, like actual like, mm -hmm. murder. Mm -hmm. He's killing all these mob bosses. Joker acquiesces. He agrees. Uh, Batman goes to see Andrea. Uh, she just like I, I don't know if I missed something, but she seems to know he's Bruce Wayne in this scene. Yeah, I I, I must have missed that too. But I I love the one thing that stuck out to me the most about this scene is like he's talking about you know you can't let vengeance control you or whatever, and you like your parents control you or whatever. And she's like, the only one controlled by his parents is you. I was just like, whoa, in your face, sucker. Vengeance is a big thing in. I won't go into it more than that, but in the new one, mm -hmm. like, cause yeah. we all know he's beats that guy down. He's like, I'm vengeance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause that's like what he's known as. And then there's this whole other thing that goes along with it, but you'll, you'll yeah, see, yeah, it, yeah. You'll see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, so yeah. Yeah. And then she has a bit of a cry after he leaves. Phantasm mm -hmm. shows up to kill Salvatore, but he's just like all dead. From like Joker toxin, I guess. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And uh, and it, he just explodes. <laughs> cause, cause like Joker has like a little camera and yeah, 
And he was like, so it's not the Batman. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but, Fantasm but yeah, escapes. So, yeah, barely. Yeah. Batwing shows up. It's the Batwing, bitch. Check out the Batwing. <laughs> Check out the Batwing, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that movie recently. It does not hold up. I was just going to say I did the same. Oh. Oof, there's, some, oof. there's still some oof. really funny parts of it. But there like, is. But, but like, R- Ryan Reynolds is like a statutory rapist, predator, groomer, like, ew. Homophobe. <laughs> Lots like, of homophobic things. Yeah, like, it was oof. It, yeah. Because yeah. I hadn't seen it since it came out. I, I hadn't seen it in a while. Like I remember enjoying it when I was younger, and I mean, I just didn't understand a lot of things that I understand yeah. a little better now. And I was like, oh, yeah, no. <laughs> ooh, yeah, about that. There are some funny parts, but yeah, there are, yeah. But, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah. So, Batwing shows up in pursuit of the Phantasm. Mm-hmm. No autopilot issues with this Batwing. Uh, no, bitch. <laughs> he turns that uh, pilot on, works like a charm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, he jumps out, they punch for a bit. Uh, then the phantasm just shits out some smoke and disappears. Like, they never explain. I don't Yeah, think. I, what's up with that? He, yeah. The, the phantasm's just, like, able to just, like, go poof. And then he's just gone. <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's, like, fart out some smoke or something. Yeah, he's just like... <laughs> Smoke yeah. comes out. And... They never, yeah, they never explain because the phantasm is is like bulletproof, or you know, like when when Chucky saw not Chucky saw the Bronski has like a ham like a an axe handle and throws it and like smoke comes up, but like phantasm is right there and it looks mm. like the 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 pole spear goes right through the center of phantasm. That's never yeah. explained, but. Yeah, very, very odd. Yeah, it's always like he has like teleporting abilities. Like bulletproof, I can be like, okay, body armor exists, like armor sure, exists. Sure, but, like, sure. But like, because yeah, like at the very beginning, he's like unloaded. Up, Chucky unloads like a a pistol and in, right straight into him. And Point nothing. blank too. Yeah, yeah. Which I can okay, sure. But yeah, I, I mean, again, don't care. Right. Like, it's fucking Batman. It's it's a. A dog's playing with the cheetah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Like, really going to town. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Funny. Um, oh, that's why. Okay, I have my sister's dog here. I was gonna say because my, my dog never makes squeaking noises. What's going on? And nah, that, 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 that her dog loves to squeak. Yeah. My dog takes any chew toy that has a squeaker in it. She sits down for five minutes. She rips it apart, pulls the speak the squeaker out, and then mm-hmm. plays with it. Like she's just That's like, it. "Fuck this squeaker!" I, I don't like having it. Noise. Shit. Yeah, she finds it. She. Yeah, I'll give her ones that have, like, eight squeakers in it, and she's just, like, methodically going, like, okay, here's the seam. I'm going to take that one. I'm going to find the next one, next one, next one. Fuck this. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. She's fuck just, like, you. a serial killer with squeakers. <laughs> a surgeon with that shit. Yeah, she's goddamn methodical. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't even know where I was. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... They, uh, Fan- yeah, Phantasm, Phantasm gets away, but then all the um, GCPD. all the yeah, all the all the Gotham Gotham PD is there, and and Batman is clearly like surrounded and mm-hmm. goes into like a parking garage or yeah, a construction, construction site, site, like kind of like year one e kind of stuff, and yeah, he's like he all fucked building. up. Yeah, because they're they're like shooting to kill, like, and he gets shot and like. And then he, he uses a fake Batman sawhorse to distract. <laughs> yeah. And and they just unload on it. Everyone yeah. is just no warning shots. Just like, hey, yeah, we're they're shooting, to, shooting kill. to kill. Yeah. And, and he's he gets all out. Hurt, running away, unmasked. 
Mm-hmm. And Andrea mm-hmm. just like shows up in her little, her tiny little red Corvette or whatever the fuck she's like in. A, like it looked like a, like a Fiat or something, yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. something, something like that. <laughs> just a tiny little red Miata. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that better. I like that better. <laughs> Takes him away. Back mm-hmm. to Wayne Manor. Alfred patches him up as a good butler does. Mm-hmm. She finally spills the beans on her dad. Uh, mm-hmm. You get like a flashback, and like he owed Salvatore a bunch of money, and they were gonna like kill her and him, and so they just like skip town. Mm-hmm. That's when she sent the 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 note, the breakup note to, mm-hmm. to Bruce. And after she explains all this horrible shit, they smooch a bit. They smooch a little bit, and Alfred is trying to be a cock block again, but luckily he turns around. And yeah, <laughs> yeah and they definitely bang because she leaves the next morning because, you know, sex. Um, yeah. <laughs> but Bruce, 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 he's all conflicted. Bruce, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he longingly looks at the picture he stole, thinking... Wheels are turning. His refract- refractory periods uh, leaving him, so he's starting to think <laughs> a little clearer. <laughs> the poise, postcoital yeah <laughs> thoughts. Yeah, the refractory period. Yeah, we all know it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, a uh, the only problem. And it's not really a problem because like. <laughs> I didn't roll that one. <laughs> that's okay <laughs> uh, so he does like i don't like knowing a backstory to the joker like yeah yeah that was well i think this is maybe fine. I'm, maybe i'm blowing some of my trivia away but i think they were kind of playing off of the movie because at that point the movie had just come out like a couple of years before so they were playing oh, on yeah, the whole 89. jack they were playing the whole like jack napier thing yeah no, look, I mean, they all work, like, in a vacuum, like, in their own universe, this and that. Sure. Like, I'm fine with that, but mm-hmm. I'm never a big... <laughs> you hear me when I'm yelling? <laughs> no, no, I couldn't hear, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> That's probably for the best. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's fine in, like, this whole scenario whatever like i feel like it's a self-contained kind of story this and that um um <laughs> yeah I, I i think joker's scarier when we don't know like, i agree that ambiguity more interesting that way yeah mm-hmm. same with like wolverine like i i didn't need like a backstory like he's just is like in, yeah in, it's slogan yeah. yeah it's just like uh, something fucked up happened whatever <laughs> Sure. Um, but yeah, like, he just like draws like a little line on his face. He's like, oh my god, it's the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> just like a little smile. Yeah. He makes a little fake smile. It's the Joker. Okay. Yep. Sure. Great deduction. Deduction. Yep. Yeah. He sorted it all out. Um, mm-hmm. So now he knows the Joker's involved. Uh, Joker shows up at uh, the councilman Artie's office. They have a bit of a chat. Uh, he, uh, apparently, like, hit him with some Joker toxin, cause, off screen because he's in the hospital, like, laughing maniacally. Oh, yeah, that's, that really is, like, quite jarring. Yeah. Because he's just laughing like crazy, but you could tell that he's in pain, and he just yeah. wants to stop, and... Yeah, it's like he's yeah. conscious, but can't stop it, like... Yeah, uh-huh. I mean, that that was one of the most effective things in Batman 89 was like the mm. jokes and that like would kill people and like you could like see the fear in their eyes but like they're laughing which is just such a uncomfortable juxtaposition you yeah know? yeah oh yeah uh it's Batman like, shows like, up sorry mm-hmm. oh I was just gonna say like it's like that little moment from get out where the woman is like she's crying but she's like has a smile on her face like one of the like the maid or whoever do you know what i'm talking about yeah because they're not like in control 
Yeah, yeah. It's like that. It was just... Ugh. Yeah, it's just, it's just... It's such a... Just, yeah, very scary. That combination is just so unsettling. I know. And it's smart, too, because I think yeah, the big great. reason why they did that on the show is because, you know, it was a cartoon for kids. They couldn't have the Joker literally, like, killing people left and right. So, like, what can right. we do instead? We're, well, oh, he's got this Joker toxin that he gives to people, and they can't stop yeah. laughing. And, and as, a, as a kid, I didn't like fully comprehend like it was just like oh he just like gave him a thing and like now he just like mm -hmm. laughs. like but yeah. as an adult you're like oh fuck there's so much more going on here yeah <laughs> but, like it doesn't yeah. fuck you up as a little kid no uh -uh. it's just so expertly done yeah just really smart so yeah the, the batman shows up in the this, this hospital room um mm -hmm. and finds out Artie basically sold out Andrew's dad to the mob. Like, yeah. he, he needed money for his campaign. He went to Artie, and he was like, fuck off. He did his best Brian Cox. Fuck off! Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> his best Logan fuck boy. Off, you fuck! Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's like, so he's, he wouldn't help me, so I was desperate, and I turned to the mm -hmm. mob and mm -hmm. sold him out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and Joker... Just like send some drones uh, to kill Batman. Sending you, sending you airmail, bats. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it doesn't work because he's Batman. Uh, yeah. Um. Then uh, Andrea has some, has a flashback of Joker pre killing her dad. Just casually walking out, you know, smoking a cigarette, not, you know, not being inconspicuous at all. Yeah, being all creepy on her. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, like real construction site, like cat calling vibes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Phantasm then shows up while, while Joker's trying to fuck a robot. In her. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, just when you get in the mood, something well, happens. Oh, uh, some oh, something so creepy and perfect that again, as a kid, you just wouldn't notice. But earlier on, the first time you see that robot cutting up shit, he like touches her face and like pulls off a bit of her skin and just yeah. like puts it in his pocket. Yeah, yeah. Like that's such <laughs> a great touch. Again, as a kid, you don't. It's yeah. like whatever. But, yeah, that's such a creepy little, like, yeah, he would do that. Yeah, the, the Joker's fucked up. And he's eating bologna. And after watching that, like, I kind of want a bologna sandwich now, mm -hmm. if I'm being honest. Yeah. <laughs> that's when we get the big reveal. Phantasm, this whole time, then Andrea. Mm -hmm. They punch for a bit. Uh, she kicks him in the dick. Right in the ding-dong. He uh, slaps her with his salami. Not a euphemism. <laughs> and it's funny because you, it shows him reaching behind him, and there's like a knife a kn and the bologna. That's so good. There's a knife <laughs> in this giant log of meat. Log of, of bologna, yeah. And oh, he just like so whacks her. Good. <laughs> and he and goes, like, just he... in time to meet your biggest fan. <laughs> uh, it's like... I love it because, and I don't know, I don't profess to know what the writers were thinking, but I feel mm -hmm. like Joker knew the knife was there and he chose the meat because he's a oh, crazy of course he did psycho and like that's way funnier. <laughs> oh, 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 of course, of course. Clearly, he thought that would be so much funnier. And he's right. like, yeah, it may not kill her, but, you know, how yeah. funny would it be for her to get beat to death with a log of baloney? Like, that's, yeah. that is, you're right, that's funny to him. And, yeah, and he also doesn't care if he lives or dies. No, never. Uh, -uh. uh Jumps out the window, Joker does, she pursues. He uh, then has, like, some sort of, like, like, Rolls Royce Phantom Engine just, like, hanging out, <laughs> like... Yeah. Some giant fan. I don't know. Whatever. It's mm. a Joker. Who cares? Sure. Uh, yeah. And, like, that, like, fucks up her whole smoke thing, mm -hmm. I guess. Because, like, I guess it was just a 
uh, diversion type thing. Like she just shits out smoke and then disappears, gets runs away, or whatever. It wasn't like something supernatural, but the fans sucking up all the smokes. Like she tries to do it, and obviously it work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like takes away her trump card. Um, she's like about to get sucked into this giant fan. Batman shows up on the bat cycle. Yep. Bat Batman for the save. Batman for the win. Yep. Throws the cycle into the fan right before she gets sucked in. Saves her. Batman finally figures out that she's she's the phantasm. Mm-hmm. They chat. She disappears in some smoke. Yeah. He's basically just like, what will vengeance solve? You know, you gotta yeah. go. You know. You got to get out of here, you know, because he's like, I've already I think I think Bruce Bruce internally is like, you know, my life has already been fucked up by vengeance. Like my whole life. I don't want this for you. That's kind of what I took it as. Absolutely. There again, not to like give anything away, but you're going to watch the Batman and be like, oh, this, that and like there's like a lot of parallels going on and like ideas Mm -hmm. it's really Mm -hmm. great and that for me that made this scene even like more i was like oh fuck yeah i just saw this nice (laughs) or not this but like something that tangentially is so like it wasn't it's not it but sure i mean connections and maybe i'm just a crazy person and there are no connections but i felt a connection with that Mm. so that was cool extra cool for me mm-hmm. um yeah he, he then pursues the joker they punch a bit joker sends some more drones at him uh while he rides away on a model train <laughs> 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 and it's all while batman's in like this tiny little model city and all these drones are coming at him like he's king kong on like the empire T- state building <laughs> like yeah, they're all like yeah. little biplanes and you're like <laughs> <laughs> and all giant it's so good. <laughs> and they're fucking up. These little helicopter things are fucking up. Yeah, like, they're, like, cut they're them like up cutting them and, and shit. Yeah. Uh, Joker then tries to escape in a jetpack. <laughs> <laughs> and Bruce just jumps on him and he's yep. like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Let me go or we'll both die. And Bruce yeah. is just like, whatever it takes. Yeah, because there's apparently, he, he mentioned earlier that the Joker mentioned earlier that he's like laced everything with like explosives. Like there's just like, there's like 20 mm. tunnels here and they're all lined with C4 or something, whatever he says, like 20 miles of caves. Yeah. And they're all lined with, you know, bombs. Like, yeah. They're all wired to blow. Yeah. So they crash, make some crash. Uh, Andrea shows up, kill the Joker. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's it's like, it's never like said specifically, but you, yeah. It's like, yeah, basically yeah. assume like, yeah, Joker's yeah. big dead. Yeah, because then, boom, explosion, she disappears with the Joker and her little smoke thing. And how crazy is it, like, when when all the fire and explosions are happening around him and Joker's just laughing, and it's just like a really yeah. close-up shot on Joker's face laughing and all so the fires perfect. behind him. It's perfect. He's just laughing in the face of chaos. Like, he loves it. It's just... Yeah. Because all he so wants, good. he wants to basically die with Batman. Like, he doesn't actually want to kill Batman. No. He, mm-hmm. He's like, we're we're intertwined. Like, we're... You the, he, complete me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's there's so many iterations of it. And, like, like, oddly, one of, like, my favorite ones is, and I've talked about this many times, the Harley mm-hmm. Quinn animated series, where Scarecrow unmasks Batman when Joker has him captive. Uh-huh. And he gets, like, angry. He's like, that just, like, ruined it for me. Like, mm-hmm. I didn't want to know. Joker doesn't care. Yeah, because that's not why he's doing it. Yeah. And I think in the comics, he, like, knows who he is. But it's like, that's not the point of all this. Like, I'm not going to out you. That would, that would mm-hmm. screw up all our fun. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they disappear in her little smoke thing. Batman falls into a sewer and just escapes, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> he goes back to the Batcave. It's real sad. And mm-hmm. head in hand, you know, doing that whole mopey thing. 
Alfred speaking some sense for yeah, sure. Yeah, Alfred gives him a little pep talk. And then there's a little glistening little flicker of a light somewhere in the back cave. Mm-hmm. He runs over, finds up. We never mentioned it before, but there was this locket that Andrea yeah. had that had a inside it was a picture of herself and, and Bruce. And that was just like hanging in the back cave. I think I well, I think she had put it there. Well, yeah, of course. That's what I took it. Oh, of course. Got it. Yeah, that's yeah. She, well, because we find out she lived. Uh huh. The next scene, uh, she's uh, real emo on a cruise ship. Mm-hmm. It's like staring out, like frozen Titanic. Just and and out. some 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 drunkard saddle saddles up to her, and he's like, and he notices she's all emo, and he's like, "Do you want to be alone?" And she just goes, "I am." Yeah. Which I also thought was nice because he wasn't like a creep. Like he was clearly trying to bang her, but like he was. Yeah. Just, do you want me to leave you alone? Like, yeah, you know, are you like, okay? Sugar tits. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's yeah. He he realized right away. He's like, yeah. oh, something's wrong. Yeah, which you can ask what's, if something's yeah. wrong. Be like, hey, of course. Can, should I? Yeah, that was the right thing. But yeah, and then it's just I already am. I already am. Yeah. yeah exactly. And oh. then then we get a shot of Batman just continuing to be Batman while. The perfect theme plays. The bat signal goes off. Oh, it's so good. Great Cre- final shot. Credits. I am vengeance. Great. Oh, oh, so good. I love this movie, and I'm glad that you got to experience it for the first time. Yeah. This was, like, awesome. I'm glad you got to. I've watched cause so many of almost all the animated stuff is on HBO Max. Mm-hmm. And this is a really stupid reason and dumb and like almost embarrassing that I probably shouldn't even say. But the reason I didn't watch it, mm-hmm. I just don't like the word phantasm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's something about it. And I'm just like, ooh, phantasm. Fuck off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is there's just certain words i don't like they just yeah, like, irk yeah. me and i was like yeah. i don't give a fuck like it it felt like some fantastical like yeah 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 <laughs> i i don't know it's it's stupid and ridiculous but that's who i am and that's why i never watched it <laughs> like, you can look at my hbo max and i've watched like every single batman that's on there mm. that that but now you have. Now, you now I have, and I'm so glad. Great uh, choice by you. I'm, I'm uh, glad I was not forced, but coerced. No, that's worse. <laughs> uh, 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 um, I don't know. What's the word? Not Yeah, not coerced, but just, <laughs> uh, you know. Suggested. Know. I, suggested. There you go. There you go. Um, well, I've got some great trivia if you want to hear it. Oh, hit us with some trivia. Mark Hamill went to a screening at a local theater during the film's theatrical release. With only a few people in attendance, he asked them to sit with him before the film started. That's cool. Like, could you imagine just being like, you know, like a like this is at a time when Batman, it's like you had to be a real nerd to like Batman at this time. And it's just you're in a movie theater and it's just like, holy fucking shit. Luke Skywalker wants is in here and he wants me to sit with him. Like, what the fuck? Mark Hamill is so cool. He seems like such like a decent dude too. He's a goddamn American treasure, is he what he really is. He really is. Yeah. I love him so much. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Um Andrea Andrea Beaumont is loosely based on a combination of Judson Caspian, the Reaper, and his daughter Rachel Caspian, characters from the Batman Year Two comic book storyline. Andrea was allegedly allegedly named after casting and vocal supervisor Andrea Romano. Interesting. Who I who was in that Q and A that I when I saw the movie yeah, out here. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, Citizen Kane served as an influence for the flashbacks, a story about loss and the passage of time. Mm. I um, always <laughs> love flashbacks, but yeah, and I thought they started, did it well. So, yeah, no, it, it absolutely yeah. worked, but. Once I was like accepted, this was just was gonna mm-hmm. happen. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. So I I went into this a thousand percent blind. 
Like I didn't yeah. even read the little like blurb on HBO. Max. Oh, good. Like I good, refused good. to. I was just like, I don't know anything because I never get to see anything. I don't. Yeah. Know how often do we get any- to do that? Never happens never. anymore. Like it was yeah. just with the Batman, like the the newest one. I, I mean, I knew quite a bit, but I they started like releasing like actual scenes from the movie and i didn't and watch like, any i haven't watched any of them. I, I watched one of them and then i was like i don't want any more i didn't even watch the final trailer i was just like i need to not like, I'm, i i i want to know i don't want to know everything i want to go in blind for once yeah. yeah um the opening theme contains an in joke the choral chanting consists of the names of orchestrators lolita ritmanis michael mc Cusatin and Peter Tomashek, among others, sung backwards. That okay, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> I I wish I would have mentioned that because normally that theme doesn't have vocals to it. No, uh-uh. and that worked so well. I thought that was so cool. Yeah. <laughs> and now knowing that, that's even cooler. That's so great. Yeah. Oh yeah. I love um, that. Just like. It was so good. <laughs> so good. Oh, so okay, you'll like this. I I forgot that I I got this as a trivia. When the Joker Ooh. shoots the robots in the World Fair, the sound of them winding down is the sound of the Millennium Falcon. I it is it. for sure. Nice. Yeah. Good, There's good catch. Yeah, and that's so great because then that's like the first time you see Mark Hamill too. Uh, has, I mean, the Joker. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Just like, oh. <laughs> uh, great. Um, let's see. When re- they reviewed this film for their show, Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert both said they regretted not seeing it in its theatrical release. Siskel in particular liked the film and compared it favorably to the other Batman films, Batman Returns and Batman Forever. Okay. Uh, I think it's better I, than Batman Forever. <laughs> I agree. But, I, well, I love Batman Forever, but not like mm-hmm. because I think it's a great movie. It's just right. schlocky fun, and I have a lot of nostalgia mm-hmm. for it. Yeah. Um, Oh, okay. So while the film was being written, Paul Denny, who was handling many of the Joker scenes, was attacked and beaten by two muggers on Lapeer Drive and had to undergo reconstructive surgery on his skull. He spent several months recuperating from the attack, physically and emotionally. As a result, he almost backed out of the film and even considered giving up working on Batman altogether before he returned to work on the script. He later wrote a graphic novel on his experience recovering titled Dark Knight, a true Batman story. Holy shit. Yeah, he was the screenwriter, right? Uh Uh-huh. He was one of the screenwriters, yeah. And he did a lot of work on the original show. And mm -hmm. They're bringing back that show in some sort of iteration. I don't exactly know what they're doing. Yeah. I mean, I'll check it out. I'll check it out for sure. Kevin Conroy is involved. Kevin Conroy is my Batman. But he's getting up there. I mean, yeah, but he doesn't have to like do anything. He just sits in the air room and goes, "I'm Batman." I'm Batman. Even though I don't um, think he really ever says that. Yeah. Uh, he's my Batman, and Mark Hamill's my Joker. Like they just, mm-hmm. they just are. Yeah, they're they're. That's what we grew up with. Exactly. Mm-hmm. This film was originally going to mark the end of the Batman animated series, which explains why Joker seemingly dies at the end. In addition, the movie was originally going to be a two-part episode of the animated series called Masks, featuring Batman Year Two's villain, Reaper. Mm. Yes. Yes. Yes, Batman. Send you love my permission to die. (laughs) Uh, The Phantasm would not appear... In, in DCAU continuity until Epilogue 2005, in which Amanda Waller tells the tale of an agent she hired to kill the parents of young Terry McGinnis. Though the assassin is never named, the silent depiction of the event clearly shows the phantasm stalking the family. However, a visibly aged Andrea Beaumont refuses to complete the assignment, citing Batman's refusal to resort to murder to achieve his goals and how doing so would dishonor what he stood for. Terry McGinnis, that's... Yeah. That's, 
That's, Batman Beyond. Oh, Beyond, yes. I never yeah. watched that. I was like, I know that name. Oh, man, you gotta watch Batman Beyond. It's the only thing great. I've seen is the, uh, like, Return of the Joker. Oh, that that is twisted. It is dark. Yes, it is. Yeah. You gotta watch, you gotta watch the Batman Beyond. I, I love my whole, like, Bat family. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I love, I love Dick Grayson as Nightwing. I love Jason mm-hmm. Todd coming back as, as the Red Hood. Um, and I love, uh, what's his name? Damian Wayne is. Yeah. Uh, and Robin. Then, and who's the other Robin in between that? Tim Drake. Tim Drake. Yes. And now he yeah. just goes by like Red Robin. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. All right. I, I love the whole <laughs> bat family thing. Yeah. Uh, um, Reeves, Arthur Reeves confesses to Batman that he sold Beaumont out to the mob. This is the second time a character played by Hart Bachner sold out a fellow character and having it ultimately backfiring on him. The first time was Die Hard when his character Ellis tries to sell out John McClane to the terrorists. His failed efforts ultimately get him killed. Booby. <laughs> Hans Booby. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it for my trivia. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> That is fantastic. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. What are we watching? What are we watching next week? Oh, coming up next week with St. Patrick's Day upon us, we decided to go back to the poster that adorns so many college room, dorm rooms. Boondock Saints. There was a fire fight. There was a fire fight. <laughs> well, you've got them to foe. Oh, I have a feeling oh, we're going to have a lot of shit to talk on this movie. Not talk about a lot of shit to talk on this movie. I love this sure. movie when I was of that age. Me too. Uh, recently. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah. I'm ready to I'm ready to I'm talk excited. Some shit. Very excited. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, but Bubby. Bubby. <laughs> Bubby. Hans. <laughs> Bubby. <laughs> God, I love Ellis. Oh, oh, oh so man. Uh, I mean, that's about all I got. Unless you have anything else, why don't you take us out? Oh, uh, first of all, oh, oh I no, 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 to yeah, say, yeah, 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 it yeah, yeah, yeah. Find us, good no, God, we almost God. did it again. <laughs> I know we did it last week. Sorry, everybody. Uh, www.actionmovie bookclub.com um hans our our man hans has been writing more blogs on there about things he's watching thanks for doing that check those out we also got some awesome merch made by our buddy chris wales thank you chris wales mm-hmm. um also hit us on the socials at action movie bc on twitter and at action movie book club on instagram um yeah hit us up on there if you have any questions comments concerns your favorite batman uh your favorite batman movie um who you would like to see play batman in the future why not let's talk about it um yeah that's about it on my end anything else you want to add um last week i did a stream with uh our good friend swedish horror nerd um, yes a good swedish friend uh we did predator 2 over on uh, Our other good friend Aaron's channel. <laughs> no one else can make it, but he he gave me the reins, which wild choice. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was great though. No, 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 of course I'm never gonna do anything. But uh, <laughs> yeah, his trust I appreciate. Uh, so yeah. that's up there. And next week, I actually don't know if you're aware of this, but again because of St. Patrick's Day, and so on Tuesday it'll be when we release this. Uh, we our first thought was one of the leprechaun movies Mm -hmm. instead we're doing something called shrooms which is an irish movie and it's like a bunch of kids like do a bunch of shrooms and then like a murderous like psycho comes in like so basically like the worst imaginable yeah i was like oh that is my nightmare (laughs) that sounds amazing and terrifying and just oh yeah awesome that's sweet yeah fuck yeah all right well now without further ado (laughs) and properly now we covered all our bases Mm -hmm. okay why don't you take us out Happy trails, Hans. 
Bubby!